Welcome to a video from the digitalizedart.com. I'm going to have a look at another Windows 10 build. This is 14271. Released, released at the same time as a mobile build actually, but look at that in a separate video. So not a huge amount of changes in this one. This is a Redstone release. So you see 14271 RS1 for Windows Insiders. So there's no new features as such, but there are some fixes. So um, they fixed the issue where the Windows borders on apps would change from the accent color to black after every upgrade to a new build. I personally haven't, haven't seen that. You see there's the blue that it should be. And in a previous build that might have been black. They've updated the music control icons that are showing the taskbar previews like Groove Music to look more crisp and at high resolution as well. I haven't seen that yet. Um, because when I look at the app it only shows the um, the icon there and if I start some music playing you see that the volume control comes up like that I know what they mean that you sometimes get the preview down here when you um, right click over it maybe it's because I'm using it on this on the tablet although I'm not in tablet mode now if I flick it to tablet mode obviously it disappears so that's what else, else they fixed um, They've uh, fixed an issue where the taskbar would not auto unhide uh, on top of full screen windows such as PowerPoint presentations. That's good, so you don't want a taskbar showing up there on your PowerPoint presentation. And they fixed the issue where the hide notifications while presenting settings is lost. So um, you don't get the notifications while you're doing your PowerPoint presentation, that uh, setting had gone. When you get notifications, which we're not, probably not going to see right now, you can click the um, header of the notification to, to get it away and uh, they've made it easy to dismiss notifications from especially perhaps in App Center by increasing the target area so we can probably see that so maybe that's so we can get like that in fact the cross has gone now we saw the cross was there a second ago so they improved the action center they say so that um, you can now dismiss the notifications but, um, by increasing the target area so I guess you can go like that and they've made this size easier I'm not sure I can see a huge amount of difference to be honest they fixed the issue where interaction notifications would not show a button to input text in some cases so when you get the pop-up notification down here you, the, the button wasn't there to start typing in uh, which I haven't seen that to be honest and they fixed an issue with some desktop Win32 apps uh, look missing from the start again I haven't seen that either a lot of these issues I've not actually seen but these have come from Windows Insiders that have reported these issues and uh, they fixed an issue where the accent colour does not automatically change when the uh, slideshow option is chosen for your desktop background so you, you can have this uh, accent colour automatically change to suit the the background colour which in this case is blue from the windows blue but uh, it will change it on a slideshow if you want so not a lot of new things in this one there is a couple of known issues to watch out for um, if you have problems with uh, th there's an issue with hibernation so if you're coming out of hibernation and you get blue screens or it doesn't load then uh, that is caused by this bug a hibernation bug in this build and you can uh, change that in the power settings by uh, disabling hibernation. Also there's an issue with uh, Kaspersky antivirus as well and uh, turning on the always show icons in notification area corrupts the, lay the layout of the display. So. so those are the issues with this build and so there's not a huge amount of changes to it and as they're releasing these builds more frequently, I think the last build was last week, then you're not going to see a huge amount of jumps in this build. Um, I did find this the last build quite good actually, there are not too many issues on there and uh, apart from the hibernation but uh, I'm using sleep on this one and that's not caused a problem. So that's the changes on this build, hopefully the next build I have a bit more to talk about and you can go back and look right back through to the early builds of Windows. 10 on our YouTube channel. You follow me on Twitter at ISDixon, so subscribe, uh, follow me, and I'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com.